Jane on Fat Taquito. My friends call me Jelly. I use the ketogenic journey to lose 212 pounds. If you're new to my channel and you want to stick around for my story and the rest of my weight loss, hit subscribe, like, share, you know, all that good stuff. Um, I am not at my lowest. I haven't made a video in a few days. Why well, make videos and didn't like them and trashed them? Um, I don't know what's happened in the last two months with no fault at keto. Uh, I went from the 160s to waking up this morning at 192. Okay, I take a lot of ibuprofen, which always makes me gain about 10, 15 pounds during this time of the year, taking the ibuprofen. I've been under horrendous stress. I have adrenal gland issue. So that's like the only thing I can think that's doing it because I gained like 12 pounds in the last two days basically because I dropped back down into the 170s and yay video I was, made a great video and then I shot back up because I am under tremendous stress again which now I believe that all this time all these months this started happening in October I was building um or September, somewhere around in there. When I started building, my weight started going up. Um, it was physical stress against my body. Well, that part's done, but I am under a lot of emotional, mental stress right now. Um, six weeks ago, something happened that I can't really talk about, and or it might have been two months ago, I've lost track of time, and it kind of sent my body into shock, like a, a mental shock. Um, that all got fixed, but for a moment, my body freaked out, I freaked out, and then I wasn't recording during this time. I like I made a video about it and then realized I couldn't record and I couldn't talk about it, so I had to get rid of it. Um, can't really discuss it, but I gained like a lot of weight overnight after that happened. And I was doing good, trying to get back off. And then something else happened this week and my weight shot through the roof. I'm not sleeping well at all. And I'm going to tell you what happened. This isn't a video I don't tell you. So first of all, the only thing I've eaten in the last three or four days is one salad a day with some collagen coffee. I was trying the, let's just eat a salad, right? Because I don't drench it in dressing. Um, I do have a picture of yesterday's salad. Maybe I'll add in here. I have maybe, I think I have a video of the other salad, like, of the last few days so I don't drench it in tons of fat it's maybe two ounces of cheese in it um, it's not enough protein obviously there's not a whole lot of carbs in there it's got a few um, carrots some lettuce um, and then it's got like a couple of whole eggs and that's why I've been eating for the last three three or four days now since the last video where I showed you I had a salad I had bought another salad and I divided it by two to three days, and yesterday we went to Crack Barrel Salad, um, which I was proud of everyone. No one ate the biscuits. Um, everyone ordered a salad for their side thing. Of course, you know my thing is just a salad. No one ate the croutons. Um, everyone used like small amounts of dressing. Um, so I was, I was proud of the whole table. My daughter literally ordered two salads to go, because you get two sides, so she got two salads to go with her food. Dino got a salad and steamed broccoli. Um, my dad got a salad. I don't remember what else he got. But my daughter was taking the second. She just had them put in to go bot so she could take it home and eat it later. Um, salads really work on a lot of people, but I am noticing salads make my weight go up so drastically, especially if I didn't weigh everything out. It's so weird. If I go over a certain amount of grams of lettuce, certain amount of grams of tomato, it, my body just reacts badly to it, but I shouldn't be up this much weight. So I'm frustrated. I'm, I was sitting here. Should I even make videos? Because this isn't because of keto that my weight's going up and I don't want people to think negatively about keto that all of a sudden it fails and you start gaining your weight back because you hear that a lot. It's not true. Go look up Dr. Eric Westman. Go look up Dr. Barry. Go look up, um, Oh, I can't even think of her name right now. If you find Adapt to Life, Dr. Eric Westman, you're going to find her. 
why has my brain failed me she's in North Carolina short little white haircut um, I think her name's Casey something like my brain is just brain fog is for real right now <clears throat> I'm thinking of trying the the ketone base today um, I have to answer y'all's comments too I have not answered them because Wendy said just put in black coffee and chug it down that no matter what flavor I get is going to be a very strong bittery type strong flavor um, because my blood sugars are elevated because of my stress level my ketones don't exist um, I'm barely peeing plus I'm taking the ibuprofen I have no energy my fibromyalgia is really hitting me hard because of the stress now you want to know what the stress is. Well, three days ago, I got my daughter's, my daughter's test results back in and couldn't talk to the doctor until yesterday. Um, but I know how to read test results. Anyone really does. You just Google it and you make sure you understand what you're reading. So, and I've done it for years. I don't even have to Google most of them anymore because I've had this test done on me a billion times. So four of her tests came back bad. Well, multiple of her tests came back bad, but four came back um, pointing to something's wrong with her liver. Her liver is not functioning correctly. So I'm hysterical, trying to call the doctor's office over and over again, and never got through. Finally went up there and asked them, because she's complaining about her ear, so asked them if we could make an appointment for the next day, which was yesterday. And they let us, and come to find out, she has really bad swimmer's ear and both ears, so she's in a lot of pain. We go back in five days. Um, the scheduling her for ultrasound so they can get a look at her liver and see what's going on there. So it could be, like there's three things that causes these enzymes in your system. Your liver's failing, your gallbladder is failing, or you have osteoporosis, which, you know, they don't think she has, obviously. Um, so, yeah. So I'm very stressed and very worried and very scared for her because, the, and it's kind of high. Like, the numbers are really high. And there's four tests that indicated it. Um, she also has some form of anemia. It starts with an M. Um, that I have to talk to the doctor about because she totally forgot to go over that part because it was so, so much stuff. Turns out my daughter has two really, really bad swimmer's ear infections and, and then we were going over the whole liver thing and they, um, went some of her tests and because a pediatrician when she was little diagnosed her with pandas, I don't know if any of y'all know what that is, um, she's scheduling tons of referrals to get her evaluated for pandas um because she has all the symptoms but see the doctor who said she had it the clinic did not agree with that diagnosis because most people do not believe in it and only a few doctors can actually diagnose you with it um and she just said she thought that's what it was but then all of a sudden she didn't work there anymore and everyone's like no we don't believe in it that it's a made-up thing it seems that children who get tons of strep throats and infections, um, like she did, one right after another for the first seven years of her life until she had her tonsils out or eight, I forgot when she had them taken out, somewhere around there, um, they can develop, especially at a young age, around two when she started acting weird, um, can develop a thing called pandas. And like I said, a lot of doctors didn't believe in fibromyalgia either. It took a long time for people to get on that train. Um, but it is a severe behavior issue that develops because the infections mess with their brain. So like when you're born with autism and you have all these sensitivities and all these issues and things need to go a certain way and the sounds and smells and textures and taste and everything gets to you because that's the way you were born and there's nothing that can be done about it. Well, pandas is something you can develop and it's pretty much the same type of symptoms, including severe behavior, anger, screaming fit issues as well. Um, and we've been facing that her whole life and I've gone to multiple doctors and no one would listen to me 
so in some of her tests actually there are certain things in your blood work that can actually wean you towards that diagnosis including all the symptoms I just displayed and a lot more but her fatigue her exhaustion her saying she feels like she's dying and has no energy and that you know I thought it was all depression because she is depressed and those are symptoms from depression you just don't want to do anything other than sleep and you know you don't have appetites and all this other stuff but come to find out that's also the symptoms of her liver failing even the other doctors just said it was depression because I took her to it them multiple times this past year and last year and they just said you know it's just 2020 is still getting the people because it's rolling over into 2022 right um they're also testing her to see if she did happen to have the c word because i asked i was like well her hair fell out this summer and it's still not come back in and the c word is causing long-term issues with liver lungs uh kidneys your heart i'm like could we see if she had antibodies because you know and she's like yes that's a good idea because if and you could get it and not develop antibodies though so it won't tell one way or another for sure but if it does show then that could be what's caused the liver issue so I am a basket case and my adrenal gland is overworking my heart palpitations are back right now and the more I can't calm down the more my weight is going up I can get on the scale multiple times a day without eating and the scale just keeps raising and then I'm stressing about my weight because I can't fit any of my clothes I literally went to my mom's house yesterday and got a pair of jeans back that I never wanted to put on again never I'm trying not to cry because like Sorry, <laughs> this is not a video that people want to watch. Like, there's no encouragement here right now in this video. It's just me telling you what my life is going through and why I think my weight is not responding because and going up is because of the stress. Um, because there are other things I can't talk about that has got me this way already, and then my daughter on top of it. So, yeah, it's just like, I got my porch done, which I'm supposed to be able to enjoy it. It's Christmas. It doesn't even feel like Christmas. Christmas is in like five days. We bought these little Christmas trees from the Dollar Tree we wanted to do, and it's like this snowball of things going wrong one way after the other, and the weight is really, really bothering me. Because I know I should just stay off the scale, but I can't even fit my clothes and I'm not really eating. And that's the sad part is I'm hungry, but I'm afraid to go eat anything else because I'm afraid my weight's going to go up even more. Um, I can't find bacon. I do notice that my weight is amazingly drops really great when I eat the certain bacon and my eggs every morning. Like my weight just keeps melting off and melting off and it's impossible I can't find the bacon and I'm just I have no appetite but I'm forcing myself to eat at night and I don't feel like cooking so that's why I've been eating the salad sorry made for me um I know I know a lot of y'all are saying oh let me turn the channel I don't I don't want to see this Christmas is coming um so if I don't make a video every day right this minute, this is why. But in January, January 1st, there will be, well, starting New Year's Eve, there will be a video every day because no matter how much of this crap I'm going through, no matter how much my weight doesn't budge, I want to start the new year completely in a healthy way. At least I'm going to track everything. <clears throat> I'm going to record, we're going to make protein spray and modify fast recipes, we're going to use keto chow, not carb quick. I, I know I was going to make a lot of recipes with that carb quick, but I think that really pushed me over the edge. Even though I only ate a little bit of it, 
my weight has been not going back down anymore since I ate that tiny, tiny little bit of it. Like, I'm like, what is going on here? Now, I will be using the Carb Quick in the um, pumpkin cake I'm going to make for everyone for Christmas, but I don't know if I'm going to eat any of it at all. Um, so, even going through H-E-L double hockey sticks, um, I plan on still recording because if I don't put my health first, I can't help anyone else with their health. Like, if I... If something's wrong with my daughter and I just keep getting sicker and sicker, how am I going to help her? So, I would start now, but my dad's already lined up a bunch of places he wants to say goodbye to, like Golden Corral. Keto Diamond is Golden Corral Keto, so I'm going to give it a shot. Um, because he has to go on a diet on the first, Mediterranean diet, and that's what my daughter is going on with him is a Mediterranean diet. Um, I was really proud of her last night She, because the doctor says, you know, her protein is crazy low. She's just not getting protein. Um, so she went to the store and she was reading and she's very finicky with textures and taste and things make her sick like me. She has severe eating food issues like me and make her really sick and throw up. So um, she was reading, trying to figure out what has more protein than this. And, you know, I was like, well, you know, ground turkey. It has a lot of protein, more than ground chicken. And she likes ground turkey and chicken. And she's like, oh, let's do that. And then I got her some hamburger meat. And, you know, we steered away from 90% of the carbs. She did get a low-carb um, Greek yogurt, two different kinds. She got frozen strawberries. She did get frozen peaches, which surprisingly shocked me. How low are carbs within peaches? Okay, I have not looked at peaches this whole time doing keto, ever once, because that was not on the keto list. But a cup of frozen peaches was like four or six carbs. And she's doing Mediterranean and a low carb version of Mediterranean. So she can have it because they're like, let's try smoothies with her. And I have some strawberry perfect keto because they want her to have collagen. That was the first thing they said. Can you get her like a collagen peptide or something that, and I'm like, she usually don't like the texture. So we came up with the idea of she loves smoothies. And I'm going to try to sneak in. Well, she says she'll give it a try. She just never likes the texture of um, keto chow unless it's a pancake. So we're going to try adding the strawberry one in there. So we'll have her little smoothie with her little fruits in it and we'll have her strawberry um she uses heavy cream or milk so i'm going to try to make her steer more and it's the lactose free milk that cow ones on it or something so we'll put our fats in it put the keto chow in it put the perfect keto in there let her put her peaches and strawberries in there blend it all up and she can have a smoothie a couple of times a day because she wants to get two keto chows a day in um because it has all the stuff she needs, the vitamins and minerals and all that stuff. So she wants to try to get those in and then at night eat those um, patties or ground uh, turkey and stuff. So she went to the store and started picking everything out herself. And she will be eating oatmeal, regular oatmeal that is, you know, you put in the fridge with that milk stuff with like cinnamon or something. Um, I told her maybe we should try putting some keto chow in there. Like I said, she is not keto. She is doing low carb Mediterranean and the whole goal right now is yes, her weight needs to get down, but here's the problem. She has, which I always say the wrong one, <clears throat> it's either hyper or hypro and I had it too. Her blood sugar is dropping too low. So her A1C was only 5.2, but her insulin level was 21. 24 is bad. So, but her blood sugars are very low. Which means, like the doctor explained, which I already knew about this because I've researched keto and everything so much over the years, that her blood sugar never gets high because her body releases so much insulin when she eats anything that it over-releases and drops it too low. So let's say she has an icy, it should shoot her blood sugar up, but instead it floods it with all that insulin and shoots it down. So that's why her A1C is so low because her blood sugar never raises, but the insulin level is almost too high because it's flooding with too much. Um, so 
that's still a bad thing. That's in the end turned to diabetes for me. That that's how it started for me. I had the same thing she has at her age. I had it since I was 13 and then like 27, I got pregnant, got gestational diabetes and then it turned to regular diabetes. But then it turns out I had post, um, polycystic ovary syndrome too. But I'm going to let y'all go because Dino's coming out here and I have been talking for 20 minutes. So that's what's going on with me right now. And I'm embarrassed by my weight. I don't want to see anyone. I don't want to make videos because this isn't from gorging on food. Then I would just be like, well, I done gone and fucked up. Blah, blah, blah. No. No, I, I, I unfortunately don't get to say that. And I say unfortunately because this is out of my control. This isn't something I can fix. All I can do is stay keto and stay positive and start adding the workouts in. I've been adding my steps in. Adding the workouts in January, which I've been slowly trying, but my body really hurts right now. And just keep going until the stress goes away and the weight comes off. So I'm basically sitting here telling you it works. Even if you're stalled, even if your friggin' weight goes back up, be like me, have faith that once your body comes down, once the crap disappears, the weight will fall back off, but just have positivity that eating this way is still healing the organs inside your body. Even if the outside of your body is acting stupid. I'm also having horrible allergic reactions to things that I shouldn't be. My body is overreacting right now, very badly. But I'm gonna go see what he wants because we actually have some yard stuff we have to do today and I need to get going. It's about 5.30 and I'm having two New York strip burgers with a slice of American cheese divided by two and a tablespoon of my G. Hughes sugar-free hickory barbecue. Okay, so my keto chow that I ordered came in my um, gingerbread, so I'm really excited, but look what came in as well. I was insanely excited. Have your cake and keto. I am just thrilled about this. I've been dying to try some of the mug cake recipes, and I got sent this, so I am so thrilled because I love keto chow anything. So this girl is happy and I love my mugs. And look, we even have some recipes to try. You know, I have the apple to try. Um, we have German chocolate shake one to try, a lemon blueberry. Like I'm gonna start buying these recipe cards, I think. I am thrilled about all these little recipes and we know, we know that I love Keto Child. So the savory one, so far the only one I've ever liked is the chicken, but I never tried the beef, so I got the beef to give it a shot. Okay, so me and Pipey are going to go take our walk, our daily walk. She loves it, and we got to check the mail again because the mail just now ran. So, oh, the sun is killing me. Let's say hi. Say hi, YouTubers. Hi. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, it's 7.30. I'm having some of my salad from yesterday. I did add four ounces of steak, sirloin, no fat, and about an ounce of cheese. Mommy said later. It's been a long time. Y'all gonna lose your voice. No, you're gonna lose your voice. Look at mommy. No. Later. Go out the back door. Go out the back door. Mommy knows what meow with a long A means.
Well, it's one day in the morning. You're very loud. Piper. Oh no, we're not going outside, Piper. Piper, it's 1 30 in the morning. Just because your sister's going crazy and I'm filming her does not mean we're going outside. Pipey, tomorrow I'll take you out there. If y'all let mommy go to sleep, it'll be sooner. If you let mommy go to sleep, it'll be sooner. We're gonna take a nap. Since you don't know what sleep means. Look, I think the willow broke it again. We gotta go tie it back on. Willow, you want mommy to tie it back on? You want mommy to fix it? Oh, we're gonna have to figure out how to tie it better. Hey, I guess head back on. Tie it back on. Oh, you're crazy kitties. <laughs>